Fox host Sean Hannity desperately begged Donald Trump to slam Russian President Vladimir Putin for the illegal invasion of Ukraine. But he just wouldn't do it. Take a look at this exchange, and then we'll break it down. You came under some fire when you said that Vladimir Putin's very smart. I think I know you a little bit better than most people in the media, and uh, I think you also recognize he's evil, do you not? Well, I was referring to the fact that he said this is an independent nation, talking about Ukraine, and I said that's some said. This is before there was any attack. attack. He's calling it an independent nation. Now, a lot of things are changing. When you look, this doesn't seem to be the same Putin that I was dealing with. But I will tell you, he wouldn't have changed if I were dealing with him. He wouldn't have changed. You know, I supplied, and I know uh, Biden is trying to take credit, and they're all trying to take credit about many of the things, the incredible things that we did in the Trump administration. But we supplied the uh, anti-tank busters. They're called Javelin. javelins. Mm -hmm. And without them, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have anything like what's happening. I mean, they're knocking out the tanks one after another after another. I, I mean, what was that? What was that? I, I, very, very simple question, right? Hey, do you recognize that Vladimir Putin is evil? I mean, regardless of the, the, the context of the question, right? Uh, it's a very simple one to answer. You either say, yes, I do believe that Vladimir Putin is evil, or no, I do not. He couldn't go any other, he couldn't go any, anywhere with that. He couldn't answer the question at all. And so, oh, you know, it's an independent nation. Uh, and then uh, before any attack, and it's independent, but we gave the missiles. Really? And then, of course, went into the whole idea, which is incredibly laughable, that, oh, if I were uh, in charge, then Putin wouldn't have done this. Really? 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 You think that, you think that if you were in the White House, that Putin... Would have been like, oh no, see, see, we've got Donald Trump in office. Uh, therefore, I will hold back on my expansionist plans because I respect Donald Trump so much. No, ridiculous. Of course not. And so, not only that, but you think that if it had happened, which would very, very likely, it would have also happened if Donald Trump won the election. Do you think that he would have done anything about it? Donald Trump had. I mean, do you think he would have sanctioned Putin? Do you think he would have brought the world together to tank the Russian economy, to isolate the country? No, <laughs> of course not. And look, as a result, the Russian economy is pretty devastated. Uh, his oligarch friends have had his, their, their yachts and assets uh, seized, apartments, things like that. And there's some real pain going on at the top. Now, of course, it's incredibly unfortunate that there's also pain being felt by the average Russian citizen who had nothing to do with this. Uh, and I feel for them, and I feel for the protesters who are in Russia, who are protesting against this war, some of the bravest individuals that I, that, that I could ever imagine. Uh, and yet, these sanctions also have been hitting the top. And they've been feeling the pain. And it's, in, and it's my hope that that pain will eventually lead to Russia saying, okay, we give up, we're just going to leave now. And, and that's the whole point, to actually bring back peace. Now... We'll see. But back to Trump, right? Obviously, there's a reason that Trump refuses to say bad things about Putin. And I think it's because he generally looks up to the guy. I think he's always looked up to dictators because I think he wants to be one. He wants to be a dictator. And again, there's a lot of MAGA people, unfortunately, and I'm not saying like just Republicans, right? Um, you know, there are Republicans, there are establishment Republicans, regular working people, and then there are the MAGA chuds, right? The MAGA people, the QAnon people, they have a very positive view of Putin. Let me uh, go to a video here. This was taken um, from a recent uh, People's Convoy trucker rally. Here's what uh, one person said about uh, Putin. People are pretty sympathetic and supportive of Putin. Why has this change occurred? Well, the deep state, has always made Putin to look like the bad guy, um, but he's a good guy. He's taken out all the um, the bio labs, 
child trafficking areas, um, adrenochrome harvesting areas. If people would have watched when Trump came into office right at the beginning, when you saw them hand that uh, soccer ball off, that soccer ball had so much information in it to take down everybody that, that Putin's been getting all the intel on for years. It had a lot of data in it. Uh-huh. And that's what's going on. What? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? Oh no, see, it, it was the soccer ball that was filled with data. Okay, well, what's, where's your evidence of that? Just trust me, bro. This is, understand, this is your brain on conspiracy theories. The guy's like running around with a melted brain. Like, I don't, I, I don't understand how he can function. Like, oh, yeah, 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 he's got the secret, uh, he's got the secret soccer ball. And uh, it, it showed you where the adrenochrome factories are. What? No. What? Incoherent babble. But these people, these people absolutely love Donald Trump. And they love Vladimir Putin. So now that said, going back to Hannity, Hannity's like, oh, come on, Donald, just please just say Putin is evil. For sakes, dude, what are you doing? Because it's not exactly the most popular position in the country among Democrats and among even a lot of Republicans are like, oh, yeah, no, Putin, not so good. But the MAGA chuds, well, that's different because they're like, oh, yeah, Putin, he's not woke. I mean, we kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? And so, but but Sanity, uh, but but Hannity, here's the thing, Hannity, I actually do be, do believe, is mostly sane. And I know you're you're probably going to disagree, but like, well, no, wait a minute, Sean Hannity, what are you talking about? No, 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 Sean Hannity, understand, he's a bad guy. <laughs> I don't agree with him at all uh, on basically anything. But I think out of all the different Fox News primetime hosts, at least, I think that. Sean Hannity does believe in what he what he uh, says, right? I do think that he's uh, he's he's one of those conservatives who actually believes in conservatism, okay? Uh, and by the way, here's what uh, Hannity said about Vladimir Putin, and and here's uh here's what he said, quote: Putin is a murdering thug who was willing to kill even children to satisfy his maniacal territorial ambitions. This was right after the Russian invasion into Ukraine. He said, if you are a murdering tyrant who invades a sovereign country and you kill innocent men, women, and children, you forfeit your right to lead any country. And of course, he was one of those conservatives that um, was calling for uh, a, a basically a hit out on, on, on Putin. And so there were conservatives that were calling for that. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, probably not something that you should be saying generally, uh, if you're I- in the media, <laughs> uh, but I'm just saying, okay, there it is. Now that said, uh, Sean, if you don't like what's going on in Ukraine and I don't, I-, I hate what's going on in Ukraine. Wait, do you see what the United States did in Iraq and Afghanistan under both Republicans and Democrats, by the way? Look, you had lots of civilians that were killed. President Obama, for example, did a drone strike against a 16-year-old U.S. citizen in Yemen. Uh, Abdul Abdul Rahman al-Awlaki. And then Trump, after he took over, well, we just so happened to do a drone strike against Abdul Rahman al-Awlaki's eight-year-old sister. So, yeah, we've done some pretty bad things. So, Sean... You might want to catch up with that. It seems like we should be angry not only about what Putin is doing, but as well as what other U.S. presidents have done in other places. For example, in the Middle East. But anyway, going back to Hannity, as far as he's concerned, once again, I do believe that he's an old school conservative. I don't think that he's just grifting for bucks. I do believe he thinks he he actually believes what he says. Unlike, for example, Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson, I think, only cares about the money and the ratings. And that's what basically makes Tucker Carlson a lot like, well, Donald Trump. That's why they're kind of birds in a feather in that one. But at the same time, 
going back to this, calling Putin evil, well, that would be pretty much a slam dunk. And yet, Hannity is like, come on, dude, it's, it's so, so easy. All you have to do is to say that. All you have to do is to say, Putin evil, and I don't agree with him. But he still refuses to do it. And to me, well, that's pretty telling.